Okay, welcome to the fundamentals of contract in Islamic laws module. This is the first module for certificate in Islamic banking and finance for legal practitioners. For this module, the learning outcomes are first to describe the definitions and classification of contract or akad. Second, to outline the general principles and essential element of contract or akad. And then lastly, to specify the reason and ways of termination of contract or akad. This module uh, basically covers first definition of contracts or akad, second classification of contract or akad, third general principle of contract or akad, fourth essential elements and condition or akad. And lastly, terminations of contract or akad. Uh, to understand the fundamentals of contract or akad in Islamic law, let us look into the definition of contract or akad. Uh, it is divided into two that are general definition and specific definition. For general definition, akad refer to every act which is undertaken with sincerity and firm determination regardless whether it emerges uh, from a unilateral intention or commitment such as wakaf and wasiah and from a mutual agreement among the contracting parties such as sales and hire. Uh, for specific uh, definition, uh, it's referred to the conjunction of an offer emanating from one of the two contracting parties with the acceptance of the other in the manner that affects the subject matter of the contract. When the contract is entered into or concluded, each of the contracting parties must perform what he is obliged to do under the contract. This uh, obligation uh, basically is based on various authorities from Quran and Hadith. For Quran, uh, it is mentioned uh, in Surah Al-Ma'idah, chapter 5, verse 1, uh, to the effect, O you who believe, fulfills your contracts. The obligation uh, is also mentioned in the Hadith, uh, such as uh, the Prophet uh, wasallam says uh, to the effects, Muslims are bound by their condition, except a condition which allow what is prohibited or prohibits what is lawful. The aims behind that are to preserve stability of transaction and dealing among people and to teach them uh, to respect and keep their commitments and obligation accordingly. The issue is whether uh, the agreement is a contract or not. In certain situations, it is not. Uh, for example, an agreement between two parties to go out together for meal or outdoor activities is not a contract. As such, agreement has no legal effect attached to it. Therefore, if one of them refuses to go out and fail to fulfill the promise, no claim can be made against them. Similarly, agreement uh, between the fathers and son uh, for the son to help him in his factory, the husband and wife for the wife to help him uh, in the business, the farmer and his neighbor for the neighbor to help him, and the doctor and his friend for doctor to treat his illness for free are not a contract because there is no legal obligation arises in the above mentioned situations. After knowing about the definitions of contract akad, let us discuss the classifications of contract akad. The classifications of contracts are based on whether they are sale-based contract ukut al buyu lease based contracts ukut al ijarah equity based contracts ukut as syarikah security based contracts ukut as tawthiqah services based contract ukut al qadamas gratuitous contract ukut at tabarruat or safekeeping based contract aqdul wadi'ah Sale-based contracts, ukut al-buyuk include 
bargain sales, buy ul musawamah, cost plus sale or markup sale, buy ul murabahah, forward sale, buy ul salam, manufacturing sale, buy ul istisna, sale with default payment, al buy bisaman ajil, sale of debt, buy ul dain, sale of currency, buy ul sorof, sale and buy back, buy ul aina. And tripartite sales by Ottawaru. Most of these sale-based contracts are used in Islamic banking, such as for asset acquisition financing, bargain sales by Ul Musawama, cost plus sale or markup sale by Ul Murabaha, manufacturing sale by Ul Istisna, sale with deferred payment by Bithaman Ajil, sale and buyback by Ul Aina. Three party sale by on Tower are used. For cash line facilities, credit card and working capital financing, sale and buybacks by on Ina and three party sales are used. For trade finance, NIDC trading and liquidity purposes, sale of debt by on Dine is used. And for exchange of currency or forex, sale of currency by on Sorov is used. Lease based contracts Ukut al ijarah consists of leasing ending with ownership al ijarah muntahiyah bitamlik it is also known as aimat lease then purchase al ijarah summa al baik that is also known as aitab and forward lease Al Ijarah Mausufa Fizima. In Islamic banking, they are used for asset acquisition and project financing. Equity based contracts, Ukut as Sharika, comprise of partnership, Sharika, diminishing partnership, Musharakah Mutanakisah, and profit sharing, Mudaraba. They are used for asset acquisition and project financing. In addition, profit sharing mudaraba is also used in investment account. Security based contract ukut as tausikhah consists of guarantee kafala, transfer of debt hewala, and mortgage rohan. In Islamic banking, guarantee Kafala is used to in trade finance and asset acquisition financing. Transfer of debt hewala is used in issuing of check for current account and overdraft and remittance. And mortgage rohan is used in a rohnu product and asset acquisition financing. Services based contract ukut al qadamas consists of agency wakala and reward jualla for agency wakala it is used for investment account and trade finance and for rewards jualla it is used for recovery of overdue debt of customers and securing permissible financing facilities gratuitous contracts Ukut at-tabarru'as includes loan, qor, gift, hibah, and rebate, ibro. In Islamic banking, loan, qor is used in deposit. Gift, hibah is used in deposit and to certain extent in leasing ending with ownership. Al-ijarah muntahiyah bitamlik and there is known also aimat and diminishing partnership musyarakah mutanakisah. And rebate ibro is used in asset acquisition financings. Safe keeping based contract Akdul Wadiah is used for Islamic deposit and trade finance facilities.